Hi, I'm Brian Van. I'm Christy Lee. From sportbiketrackgear.com. And today what we're going to do is we're going to cover women's protective apparel for the street and for the racetrack. How many times do you see a great looking girl on the back of a great looking bike riding around with shorts, t-shirt, tank top, mini skirt, flip flops, all right. that stuff. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, far too often. I mean, it's really, really important to have the proper gear on. And what we're going to show you are products that look great and protect you at the same time. There are a lot of great products right now for the ladies. The styling is phenomenal. I mean, you put it on and it looks like something you bought at a fashion store. It's, it's that close, but it's full of CE armor. It's got strong abrasion resistance. We've got choices between leather, between textile, mesh, a lot of different options. And what you really need to consider is this. If you're not wearing the apparel and you fall off the bike, you start the day as a beautiful girl. You fall off the bike without the stuff on and you go skidding down the road, they can't fix the skin. It is what it is. Those marks are going to be there forever. And we've all, if you look around online, there's, there's some threads about girls that have had accidents like mm -hmm. that. And it's a big deal. It's really painful. And that one ride can totally change your life. Yeah, absolutely. I can totally agree and speak from experience of that on the street and on the track. I've been uh, down uh, on the back of a bike, on my bike, and at the track riding my bike. And I have scars to prove it on my knees, on my elbows. And it was because I wasn't wearing the proper gear. Jeans and a cute vinyl jacket just don't cut it. You've got to have the leathers and you've got to have the proper protection. And this stuff that they come out with now is really great because it doesn't look like you're wearing a big, heavy leather jacket that doesn't fit you or doesn't look good. So what we're going to do as we go through, we're going to show Chrissy in some different options, right? Some different jackets that are out there, and then we'll get into some racetrack stuff and show a suit too. And we're going to show you some armor options to go underneath the apparel, and that's really key. And we've got some great knee protectors from Knox that go under the pants. They're pretty stealth. They're comfortable. We have a lot of ladies riding around in them now, and they prevent that. They take a real vulnerable area, and they protect it, and they cover it. So stay tuned. We're going to cover some of the gear. Okay, now what we want to talk about is proper helmet fitment. What we've seen oftentimes is when a guy takes a passenger, he just wants to give her his spare helmet, okay? Or we've seen guys come into the store or even call in and they want to buy a helmet. I'm just going to give the old one to my girl. Okay, notice, guy, girl. I'm a little bigger than she is, okay? I wear a bigger helmet than she wears. If a helmet doesn't fit, a helmet doesn't protect. Let's just give you an example of what an improper helmet, improper helmet fitment looks like go ahead and move that around. Okay, what's going to happen in the event of an accident is this thing can basically, your head can accelerate inside this because there's a huge gap between the padding and your face. That thing's all over the place. Absolutely not safe. Shouldn't ride around in it. Let's go ahead and take that away. And now we're going to show Chrissy a helmet that fits. And this is key. And like I said, we've seen this a million times with the girls. Much better. Much better. If you want to go ahead and zoom in, you can clearly see how it's got her cheeks a little bit right here. And when I go to move this helmet, you can see the this, this skin on her forehead and her face is moving before the helmet comes loose. That's what you want. It shouldn't be tight to the point where it hurts, where you feel like focused pressure points, but it should have a very snug feeling all throughout the helmet. And that is key because remember, if it doesn't fit, it can't protect you. Okay, we're going to show some examples of street riding apparel right now. We're going to start off with the Scorpion Nip Tuck Mesh Jacket. Good fit, for it's, sure. It's a great looking jacket, too. Mm -hmm. And this is one of those examples where you can be protected, you can be cool when it's hot out, right? And you can look good. This jacket looks great. There's no doubt about it. It's available in several different colorways. And the best part is it's really protective. In the high impact and abrasion areas, right, we've got the heavier denier ballistic nylon. In the non impact and abrasion areas, high airflow mesh. Jackets. Well, mesh, the yeah. girls will be cool. <laughs> yeah, which is important because it gets hot. And most of us ride when it's hot outside. And a jacket like this is a great balance between the ultimate in protection, okay, which is going to be leather. Leather with CE armor is always going to be the best. It's not always practical. I mean, if you're going to go out and you're riding somewhere to a destination and it's 90 degrees outside and you put that jacket, leather jacket on without a lot of ventilation, by the time you get there, you're going to be a little sweaty. You're sweating. I mean, the great, greatest thing about this is definitely how lightweight it is. Um, I almost feel like I'm not wearing a really heavy duty jacket, but at the same time, I can also feel the armor here in the shoulders and the elbows up top here. All of this is going to be protected if there were to be an incident, which hopefully exactly. there wouldn't be, but you're CE trying certified. to be cautious here. Exactly. Jacket comes with a medium density foam back pad. 
Okay, now we're going to show an example of a textile jacket with zippered ventilation. It's going to be more of a multi-season jacket as compared to the mesh jacket. Mesh jacket's great for hot weather. Okay, this is going to be good for hot weather with the zippered vents open. And when it's cooler out, you can close the vents. This is from Speed and Strength. This is a Little Miss Dangerous series. What do you think? I love this jacket. This is great. Not only is it a white jacket and you can ride on the back of the bike with, it looks amazing. And check this out. Leopard, Leopard print. print on the inside. Right. This is a really hot jacket for the ladies, for sure. No doubt about it. And the best part is, once again, it's functional and protective. And that's really what we're trying to, to get across here is you can look great, feel great, and if something bad happens, you can still look great after the fact. Okay, this jacket offers ventilation, zippered in the arms, underneath the applets here. CE certified protection, shoulders, elbows. Turn around, give them a look at the back of the jacket. We've got some, some high-vis piping here at nighttime. When the headlights hit it, it pops, right, makes you more visible. We have exhaust vents here on both sides, and they also have zippered gussets here, okay? And this is important. When you get down in the riding position, you need a little bit more room in that area, okay? You open it up, and you can see it's got the leopard print detail there, too. Okay, now we're going to show a good example of the ultimate in protection for the street, and that's going to be leather jacket. Most abrasion resistance, okay, as compared to textile and mesh, for sure. Oh, yeah, you can definitely feel a difference with this right away. I mean, it's, it's not as lightweight. Um, the leather, obviously, uh, is going to provide a completely different level of protection. Totally different. But at the same time, this fits perfect, which is so important with leather. Alpine Star did a great job of blending a lot of style into this jacket with a ton of protection. Alpine Stars is a real technical brand, too. I mean, a lot of heritage and racing, okay? And they try to bring that over to their street side as well. The jacket that Chrissy has on right now, it comes with CE certified armor in the shoulders and the elbows. It comes with a medium density foam back pad inside the jacket, okay? It also can accept a back protector upgrade from the foam to a CE certified piece so you can increase the level of protection. And in the front of the coat, it has pockets that accept the Alpine Stars Stella chest guards, hard outer GP shell, energy absorbing foam on the backside, and as you can clearly see, definitely designed for women. Okay, we're gonna show you another example of a ton of style in a textile riding jacket for the ladies. And this is from Shift. And this is definitely one of my favorites that we've seen today because this doesn't look like I bought this in a motorcycle shop or from a motorcycle dealership at all. This that's like that's what they were aiming for. Yeah, this looks like something I found in a women's clothing store and that I would even wear this when I'm not riding. This is the Shift Flare Jacket. CE certified armor, shoulders, elbows, okay? It's got some zippered ventilation. It's got an exhaust vent on the back of the jacket. It fits great, it looks great, and it's protective. Shift styling is very unique. Okay, they're one of those companies, you, you just you really don't see anything else that looks like what they're doing. Lots of cool patterns in this flare jacket, multiple colorways, multiple patterns. Okay, another example of a great textile jacket for the ladies with zippered ventilation is gonna be the Icon Street Angel jacket. Icon styling has definitely got the sharpest edge to it. I think got all, all the stuff that we've shown today, right? Yeah, absolutely. This, I mean, this jacket's hot, it just is. <laughs> They have a lot of great styles in their catalog. Stuff's really well made, fits real nice. CE certified armor is gonna be found in the elbows, the shoulders. They use a nice medium density foam back pad. The styling and the fit from the Icon stuff is really very unique onto itself. Lots of great details here. Heart zipper pull, right? Look at these metal snaps. Mm -hmm. How can you not love that? I love all these side details here underneath the jacket. You can see, like, not only does this look cool, but it's functional because I can tighten this if I need to. Like, it seems to be a little bit big right here, but I can tighten these up. Okay, now we're going to show the more serious side of the protection available for the ladies. The CE certified back protectors, the knee guards, things of that nature. Chrissy's got on the Icon Street Angel jacket. What I did is I removed the medium density foam back pad, okay? No certification that was installed in the jacket. And she has on a Knox Aegis CE certified to level two back protector. And as you notice, that fit right under the jacket and it only influenced the fit just a little bit. The piece is comfortable and it's very, very protective. We've seen in the last couple of years, especially from the men, tons of folks on the street 
are riding in this stuff. The reality is the street is far more dangerous than the track would ever be. The track is a controlled environment. The street, you've got a lot of outside influences. We've got multiple sizes for the ladies. Right now, we've got her in a six plate. If you want to turn around, we'll show that. Okay, and we also have a five plate available. Any one of our staff here can help you choose the right size. Another example of back protection that fits well with the ladies is the fast back. It's a zippered vest. It's got a built-in back protector and you could wear this under your jacket as well. It's a little easier to put on because you don't have any straps. Mm -hmm. You just have a zipper. One of the most popular items that we have right now is going to be knee protection that you wear underneath your pants. And we touched on that at the beginning of this video, okay? Super vulnerable area. These are going to fit right under most of your riding pants. We've got several ladies out there now that are riding in these. Hard outer shell, energy absorbing foam. And what these do is these simply save your knees when you fall. Absolutely. And uh, knee and elbow protection are probably the two most important things besides your noggin, of course. Okay, now we're going to talk about glove selection. There's a lot of choices. And basically with gloves, what you have is it's all about risk reward. Okay. One thing I want to say is with your hands are very delicate instruments. There are tons of nerve endings in your fingers. So if you happen to abrade them on the pavement, it hurts. There's yeah. no doubt. And moving forward, you know, damaged hands, they suck. I think gloves are key. And myself, I always gravitate more towards the high end on the gloves. That's just me, you know, because I don't want anything to happen to my hands because I need them every day. We're going to start off with a textile glove here. All right, this is one from Scorpion. It's a nice glove, but it's a textile glove. Textile offers less protection than leather, period. Okay, they've used kind of a leather palm with a textile top. Tons of airflow, very lightweight, very comfortable. Okay, a little more risk with this if you happen to fall down. It's not going to hold up like a leather glove. Go to the other hand, still from Scorpion. This is a leather glove. It's got a lot of perforation in it, so you're going to have a fair amount of cooling. We've got a hard knuckle on this one, a little bit longer gauntlet. She's going to get more protection out of this. Okay, so I would say less risk with this glove for sure. You can even go to the high end for the ladies and go all the way up. And this is, I may not have chosen the most appropriate colorway, from, <laughs> but this is a held, this is a full-blown race glove. And you actually try this on, you're like, ooh. These phantoms are awesome. I mean, obviously the, the top here goes up a lot higher. Um, so these are more for protection than for style. They're not going to fit under your jacket as well. But if you are headed on the track, this is the kind of glove you want. It's not bullet, something like bulletproof. this. Bulletproof. Exactly. Even on the street, if you're really worried about your hands, bulletproof. Stingray, kangaroo skin, and withheld. All the gloves that are made from size 7 and below, don't tell guys with small hands, but they're actually cut in the pattern of a woman's hand. Right? Absolutely. Alpenstars has some high-end gloves for the ladies as well. Okay? in the GP series. Lots of great gloves from Icon. The Icon gloves for the ladies are going to be more street gloves like we covered here, the Scorpion stuff. So just understand it's a whole, it's a risk reward thing, you know. If, if you're comfortable with a little bit more risk and you want tons of cooling, go ahead and go with the textile glove, right? All the way up the food chain until you get to the high end stuff that's really bulletproof. Pick the right one for you. Footwear, okay, that's another important area and I think that's, that's pretty much going to, you know, get you from top to bottom. We're going to finish with the footwear. Lots of great options. For street riding, some of the most appropriate stuff is going to come from like Icon. They've got some great short shoes, lots of protection built into them. They look cool. This is actually a men's that I'm holding up here right now, but they have a great woman's selection. Icon's real comfortable. They look great, very protective. You can get a little more serious and you can go with something like the Alpen Stars Stella SMX5 boot. This is a great boot. Tons of protection, racetrack style protection, but they blend it in with comfort that allows you to walk around in this literally for hours. I mean, you've had these on for a long time I've now. had these shoes on for at least an hour now. These are extremely comfortable. They're leather, so they're going to fit to your foot and they're going to stretch to, you know, the features of your foot specifically. Um, these are great. They feel great. Another example, going to be CD. This is going to be their, their track specific, their more hardcore street bike boot, the Vertigo Lay for the ladies. So don't forget your feet. Okay, it's really important that you make something happen there too. What you want to do is you want to make sure you've got your ankle covered. That's going to kind of be the minimum requirement. Get your ankle covered. Personally, I would recommend stepping it up and going something that's going to go up into your calf. There's a lot of options. If you need a little less style than what you see there, you know, you can get that too with Alpine Stars. They have some other choices in their catalog. And so does Seaton.